Well hi everyone, this is probably one of the more gruelling rides that we've ever done but it's absolutely stunning, definitely recommend it. For those of you that love climbing, uh, one of the highlights is uh, starting off really at the level of the viaduct that's just outside Glangochlan and uh, riding across that and we'll talk you through that later on. This spectacular viaduct with incredible views and it feels like you're literally about to fall off the side of the the world really down into the river below but absolutely spectacular there's a, a flip up bridge that will go over at one point and then you start to climb and a horrendous climb there's uh, one of the viaducts there and then you also get this fantastic panorama from the top of the hill on the outside this place is to stop alongside the canal it's not the widest canal but it's really beautiful but Here's an idea of what it's like. You see that level starting point for a while. You drop down and then there's an almost brutal, almost vertical climb right up onto the top of the hill. Really quite scary, really. Um, it was a bit too much for us actually at one point and we were only doing about 20 metres before stopping. So here's a closer look at the ride. So we're starting uh, in the centre there uh, where it says A and then we head south east uh, down and follow the canal really all the way along which runs parallel with the River Dee and we're going to start as a lay-by just outside Clangochlan on the Clangochlan Road and uh, there's a little gate that leads through from there down onto the canal. Uh, it was, it, you drive up quite steep, that's pretty steep and then from there we follow along the canal and the main thing that we're really heading towards is that loop that you can see on the right hand side. That bit you could easily cut out, but I think it's worth every second of it because that's the bit that takes us over that via aqueduct. So a brilliant bit of ride. And the canal part is very peaceful, loads of places to stop. When we get towards the loop, uh, that's you just hit the edge of a housing estate and we're going to head down and almost immediately you get to this aqueduct. It's pretty scary really in some ways so you were not, I'm afraid you're going to have to push your bike across it uh, but then it follows the canal and then you rejoin the main canal uh, and we hit this bridge and then we're going to go around staying in the lowland to go down over the river. There's looking up at the viaduct you've been and then you rejoin your path and we head out through a little bit of a housing estate up the steepest bit of hill I think I've ever, ever ridden. Uh, it says at a warning that it's an average of 17%, but there are times in there when it's absolutely merciless. You can see there is a vertical bit almost. Uh, that's what it felt like. Uh, but the views from most of the way up are spectacular. So you get to the top, and then there's a bit of jiggery-pokery to work your way round and then we see that large uh, what looks like a green contoured area there and we follow that one along. This is where you get the panoramic views down over the town and over the area and it's definitely worth the ride up there. We stopped, had a cup of tea and some flapjack from the top and uh, Really, really beautiful. Very few other people there. It was getting a bit late in the day. It was probably about five o'clock when we were there. Uh, we'd already done a journey, dropping our son off at, at the uh, station elsewhere. And then, so it was quite late in the day. But you can see here, this uh, running along the side of the hill. And uh, the road's really fast as it's descent. And then you head round uh, drop down, you can see on the left hand side there, down into the town of Flangochlan, which is quite a pretty town. Be worth stopping there. Uh, they decorated the bridge with lots of NHS rainbows while we were there. Uh, and then you head back round to join the canal for a short while uh, and return to your starting point. So you wouldn't have to start where we did, you could start at the top of the climb, but as I've said before, nobody really wants to end their ride with a climb. So here we are in the lay-by, through the gate, and a quick zim down, join the edge of the canal and we turn right and almost immediately stopped for our lunch because uh, it was getting late. But then off we go and you're following the canal along and it's 
really quite pretty all the way along. It was a lovely day actually. Temperature was great. So we're there at the end of July, just into the beginning of August, I think. There was quite a lot of activity on the canal and it's one of those canal boating canals that, because it connects some important towns, but it's pretty quiet most of the way. Now, there were quite a lot of people walking, but generally there's enough space. So here we are, we're climbing up, we've now reached the end of the main canal part, and we're gonna to get towards that little loop that takes us off towards the aqueduct. And here we are on the edge of the aqueduct, and you see the boats coming across. It's only got a fence on one side, and the pavement is only about maybe 70 centimeters across. So it is tight, you'll be walking your bike across here and you'll go at the pace that everybody else is and there's even people coming the other way. There's places to stop on the other side uh, and then we head off and it's not long before we get to that swing bridge that lifts up and we waited there for a little while for it to go up so that we could see it go up and then after a couple of canal boats have been through which I think you'll see now then we were able to get going again. Now at this point you leave and you go through a housing estate, but the roads are fairly quiet. There's one or two, and we stop down by the river and the bridge there just to have a look up at the aqueduct, simply because, well, we'd never really seen it, and it was great to do it from both sides. So there was down, we'd have down looking up, and now uh, we head out over the little bridge that we had there we did stop and take a couple of photos off the bridge. And now we head up on this climb and you could get a feeling as to how steep it is from here. This is the easy bit. It gets harder when we turn off left and go past a couple of cottages. This was really very steep. Definitely would recommend it for those of you that love climbs. So this is where it starts to build up and it gets quite painful. Uh, and we stopped several times along here. You drink an awful lot if it's a hot day like it was for us. We were getting through our water rather rapidly and you will need a bit of sugar to top you up on the way. And the climb goes on and on and on and we stopped again. And although we're not quite at the top at the moment, one of the things is that you'll find that the scenery starts to open up. So we'll be taking a, a track off on the left in a minute. Here we go. And from this point, we've got fields a bit more and you get a bit better, much better view of the surrounding countryside. And it wasn't far up here that we stopped and took a photo of what we can see. And it gives you an idea of how much you've climbed since you were down at the level of the river earlier on. So we carry on with a bit of climbing and now it's, it's a little bit uh, undulating so there's still a significant proportion of up that can be very steep. Uh, you can see we're still going up here but occasionally there's a little short descent and now we're out on the heathland at the top and it was at this point that we stopped and had a wonderful time. We, we actually uh, had a cup of tea and some flapjack as is our way uh, and then just a bit of a walk around before descending down. From here, to be honest, it's pretty level, so we're following the contours for much of the way. And then we'll suddenly take a sharp left and to descend at a considerable pace. Uh, we're already going down a little bit here at this point. And then there's a sharp left turn. Now you can see it's beginning to rain here, and that's one of the things that we found, that in places it's extremely, uh, was very sunny, uh, and then suddenly it became uh, raining, and that was just the ascent up the hill here. Now these roads here are very narrow, and uh, although we didn't meet too many other vehicles coming the other way, they've often got walkers in it, so just be very careful. And this road descends right down into the heart of the town. And here we follow the canal just along the edge of the town here and now we're back en route and it won't be long before we pick up our car park.
there's a couple of small bridges to go under before we get to the car park, but uh, it's extremely soon. Uh, so there we go, and we now turn right, and we're up and we reach the car. So some of the route is a large circle. Uh, the bottom half is fairly level. The top half is extremely steep and a very fast descent. And then we've got that uh, aqueduct on the right hand side. Okay, so if you love climbing, then this is definitely the route for you. We've included the GPS uh, um, details, a, a GPX file that you can download. This is the reference to our commute page. Uh, do feel free to download the GPX and follow and leave us a little message on our page or down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this route, uh, particularly if you enjoyed it, and let us know. Give us a great comments down underneath. We're always really keen to hear what you've got to say. So we look forward to seeing you on our next ride, which is uh, around the lowlands just below Snowdonia in a village called Tiwin.